Welcome to Jupiter's Alex here, back with some more Space Engineers. Got a small little device here, and this is going to be falling into my concepts here. And this will be something I will refine later on. Um, but anyway, the, this little device here is, well, one of about 20 billion damn objects I have in this world now. And as you can tell by that huge lag spike, Space Engineers is actually starting to give out by how much shite I have in this world. Like, for example, I have 44 FPS, and yeah lag. Um, but anyway, now back to the point. What is this thing meant to be? Well, like I said, I'll, I'll refine this, but I think I'd nickname it something like an EELP, or the Engineer's Emergency Life Support. Um, and the idea really is it's going to be a ship or, or a unmanned probe, something like that. I mean, this is a manned ship just as an example, and it's quite bulky, I know, but this was a vanilla creation, so I gotta work around very large objects because most of the vanilla stuff in game is rather large to try and sort of build around, hence why this thing looks pretty boxy. And, well, if you're wondering about also the yellow crosses, because, like, I don't know, like, why, why crosses? Well, I'm, I was kind of thinking, you know, we think of red cross as medical, so yellow could be, like, emergency, like, life support? I don't know, some kind of, like, engineer's thing. Um, but, no, getting to the point, though, um, this device would connect up to a ship or a station, you name it, just na name a devi uh, device that you'd want something like this connected to, and it'll connect to that. Um, and this little ship, assuming I don't just lag to hell, um, this ship can provide a bit of oxygen in terms of storage and a um, oxygen generator, as well as its large reactor in the back. So it basically can provide emergency life support and power to a station or ship. Now. The one one thing I this shows you how little I play of I don't like play survival hardly ever these days. So one thing it took me a little, bit, a little while to realize was that even if I was thinking as well, couldn't I uh, use this device to uh, jumpstart a station? Like let's say you had a object in space completely out of power, and you wanted to just get the systems online. Just, just enough to, because we, we, we've had, we've been in this situation before, right? Where you need to put uranium into a reactor, right? That's the way you start things up. We know this, right? Well, what if that reactor is deep inside the ship or station? There is no manual access to put fuel into said reactor, but there is a pipeline to a cargo container, which that's where you're putting the uranium into. But the catch is. There's <laughs> the conveyors need power, but you can't get the uranium into the reactor without powering up the conveyors first. So I was thinking this little device could connect up to a ship and something, uh, something or other, and basically just kickstart that process. And then once the uh, reactor is online, then you're good to go. But well, like I said, I'm I was being a bit dumb here, and it turns out if I can even get this um, thing right way around, I am literally messing up all my bloody buttons today. Uh, you cannot connect a connect or have a connector connect to an unpowered connector. If that makes any sense, as you can kind of see, there's literally no uh, nothing happening here, which does kind of prove my point. Um, like I said, I, I got to rethink this. Maybe I could use like um, actually we can't use merge blocks. That might be interesting. Maybe um, ah, good question. What about some um, the whole connecting rotor parts? Like maybe I could do something like that. Uh, something I need to experiment on, or if anyone has any ideas, then let me know. And I really need to fix this bloody world because this world is getting really just full of stuff. But um, but then if you ha if you do add some power, um, as you can see, we do have a connection happening here. So, but then if you already had like a battery powering the connector, then surely everything else, including pipes to reactors and stuff, would be functional as well. I don't know. Maybe someone could think of a scenario where this little thing could be um, useful. Um, but until then, this is just a concept and it is not going to be on the workshop. I have plenty of other things in the works. Like, I still need um, to get this big ship out there uh, in the distance there. It's actually a cargo ship, if you're wondering. But i got to get that thing released at some point. Although I'm still... The, big, the biggest is the problem with that thing over there, I don't know on an on name. Like, um, that's the thing. In the, the in the comments below, um, give just feed me some names for a cargo ship. I'm interested because I want to get give it a good name, but I have literally no idea. I'm running. I've been running through some things in my head, and I've uh, also spouted some stuff in the uh, uh, in my Discord server. Spe speaking of that, that's also in the uh, uh, description below if you want to say hi to me in my Discord. But talking amongst people there, I've had some names but, uh, being uh, thrown at me, but I don't know, nothing's caught my attention as of yet. So 
Um, just give me some name ideas uh, below. But yeah, but uh, back to this ship though. This would be something I might look into uh, refining as design goes. But uh, anyway, I'm rambling on. As you know, I can't seem to uh, stop that when that happens. So yes, I'm going to continue building, I think. And eventually I'm going to reach a point where the world gets too bloody full of stuff again. Maybe I need to go and do like a world clear out or something. Because things are lagging all the damn time. Um, so yeah, anyway, just let me know what you think of this random idea down below in the comments. Um, feel free to give me some ship names down below. And my Discord is in the description as always. I think I've already just said that. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.